Hello, I'm Brad Exum with Fast Fuel Systems. I've been out on the road and I've also been listening to our customer service calls and I ran in the same situation to, with one of our dealers. We're running into restriction issues. One of the things that we do is we advertise in our part number 95 to 165 to 260. We actually pump that on diesel fuel at that application pressure. No one else that I know of does that. Like our 95 keeps up there with our competitors' 165s in many of the tests that we've done. And that's not what I'm here about, talking about the competition. I just want to say we suck more fuel, so if there's an issue in the tank, when you're sucking more fuel like that, we, it can cause issues. So we need to have that tank open. Let me show you what I'm talking about. When you restrict a line and start starting to pump, you start cavitating. The dealer that I ran into is blaming us for not sucking fuel and delivering it to the engine. And he actually told us that this fuel filter, the fuel filter had some in it, the water separator had a bunch in it, but the, the uh, baffles from the fuel tank had come apart. And we caught it in here and you could actually physically see it in the filter. I said, don't you, don't you think there's a restriction issue, not a pump issue? And we had to go through that, but if there's too much restriction, you will starve the pump, just like I did with this cavitating right here. Okay, so what we go to, some people say, you know, well, I have a sump on there now. And I used to overlook this. We'd say, man, if it's a sump, you're getting great suction and everything else. Well, we're running into issues. And the one issue that we ran into this morning on one of our uh, customer service calls, they found a bolt in the sump. And it actually is sucked up against the wall and it was creating restriction. But the one that's more common is when you go put some kind of additive in, the stanodyne, the, the lucases, sometimes the sealing cardboard up on top is getting dropped into the fuel tank and getting sucked up against the suction line. And that's going to starve it out just like I, I was shown there. Now, well, they say, well, I have this sump or I have this sump. I'm going to talk about our sump and why we did what we did. We have two moons here. One on each side. There's no restriction of fuel getting in and creating a vortices in here. A uh, whirlpool. Uh, uh, it, uh, it creates it like an eddy current. It can just drop in, we suck out. We don't drop the fuel in over here and let it travel over here. And we don't, you know, cover it up any. Look at this, how big this reservoir is. That's why we did it the way we did it. So the fuel could just drop right in and suck out and not empty that basket. Now, if you're low, low, low on fuel, that'll happen. But that's what we're running into. So I just wanted to show you um, what we're doing. Um, if there's a standpipe in it like this. We don't have a problem with it returning. It may uh, increase the pressure a couple pounds. We're not trying to sell our sump. We're just trying to sell this open bowl concept here. And there's others out there that's doing the same thing. This works great. Works great without blockage. So thank you very much for your time. Hope this helped you out.